All right, we are back again with another video, and today we are checking out Classroom of the Elite Season 3, Episode 11. The games have finally begun. We're about to have the final showdown between the two sets of different classes. We've got Class D, Class B, our homeboy Aya Nakoji versus Saka Anagi, and Class A versus Class C. Super excited to see how this is going to play out. We're going to have a whole bunch of different games. Definitely going to see a chess match by the end of this because we've been seeing all the different stuff going on. I can't wait to do kind of like a play-by-play -play on that once we get to that stage. That's going to be a lot of fun. Also, so sad that I missed it in the initial reaction last time, but we have Ryuin taking over Class D, which is insane as a leader. He has no protection point, which makes me believe that Ryuin is going to be fine. He's going to make it through, which means that Itsunose is about to fall, which is going to be crazy. The class switch-ups are probably going to be nuts. How is this new head chairman guy going to be affecting everything? I don't know yet. I hope that you guys are excited. I've been absolutely loving this season. Classroom of the Elite is one of my favorite shows, one of my favorite series out there. I hope that you guys enjoy the reaction. Make sure you leave a like on on the video leave a comment down below as to who's your favorite character so far from season three of classroom of the elite also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications by smacking that bell and check out my patreon if you want the full uncut linked reaction to this and all other anime and tv shows covered on the channel and let's just hop right into this mr Ainakoji. oh are we in the white room what the fuck is this oh he's literally playing chess that's hilarious Man, it disgusts me how good some kids are at chess. Oh, it's crazy. Wait, she doesn't have her cane there. Did she still have that physical disability back then? Or was that more of a recent thing that happened? So weird, in Japanese language, they go it backwards. Hey. Oh, I didn't know they were going to be that close to each other. Oh, that's so cool. This is a literal just video game ass. That's so much fun. Basketball, archery, tennis. There was two others. Made in my ass. You're not helping things. She's not sorry. Basketball! Let's go, baby! Where's Sudo? Oh, yeah, they're not using Sudo? What the fuck? Oh, okay, so they could probably use Sudo later on. Oh, they're actually just sitting in the classroom? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's about time you got Sudo in there. He's gonna actually be able to solve something. Oh, okay, a little bit of a cross over there. Who the fuck is this guy? And why is he wearing gloves? He waited until Sudo got on the court to be able to do something? <laughs> Rascal. <laughs> single cell. You're all single cell. Ooh, good passing. Okay, I respect the hustle. I was about to be upset if they didn't actually show some of the movement and they only did stills. I'm glad they're actually showing some of the plays. Good. There we go. We got one victory for Class C. Honestly, I could see them losing, even with Sudo being there. Typing skills? Oh, I'd be terrible at this. I think I only do like 65 words a minute. <laughs> Me typing out hate comments. <laughs> math test? That? Jesus Christ. Yeah, how do you really show this, though? A math test, an English test, a typing test. Oh, who do they have for archery? Miyake? Okay. Okay, so Class C is up one. It's gonna be that math arithmetic thing. Yeah, there it is. They wouldn't have set up the whole thing with, um, oh, uh, Katsuragi. Koenji, really? You went with Koenji for a math test. I mean, he probably could do it, but only if he chooses to do it. Oh, what's the question? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck was that? Oh, there's no shot. Oh, there's no, no fucking shot. How the hell are you supposed to answer that? Wow, Koenji, okay. I knew he had the skills if he actually wanted to fucking answer one of the questions. I bet you he didn't even write anything down. Ah, question 10. Koenji totally threw that. That's a big fact. 
Come on, you know it's down to chess. It's down to chess, baby, come on. It's going to be chess. Well, I could with the fucking intro. <laughs> yep, come on. Let's have the chess showdown of all showdowns. But you know what he does know the power of? Just a chessboard. Oh, she did have her cane. Oh, it was just wrapped around her arm. I didn't see it earlier in that shot. Oh, that's such a good setting for a chessboard, too. Ugh. Let's go, baby. Kick their ass. Oh, I get to finally look at this. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, that's an interesting move. Pawn to D... Okay, they did the pawn to D4 after it. No, that was pawn to D3. What the fuck was that opening move for white? Pawn to D... T or pawn to H2 or something? Oh, that's such a weird opener. Knight to where? Bring the bishop up. Gonna be going after the knight. Oh, sacrificing a knight? Eventually, they're going to take over their game, and it's going to be a battle between Saki and Nagi and Kai and Koji. I think you're a bitch. That's my answer. Okay, queen to... She's got the knight in check. Uh, yeah, you might want to tap in, Aina Koji. She's about to take over Horikita real quick. Come on, Aina Koji, step in. Hey, cue in that beat. All right, let me see the moves. I want to see the pieces moving. All right, pawn takes. Oh, that's a fork. They're basically playing a blitz game at this point. No. <laughs> Alright, let's see the final moves. He put it in check there. That knight now has an attack on the king. See, he knew this place was fucked up back from the beginning. Alright, if you take that, the queen's about to come on attack. That was a sacrifice of the queen. Really? All right, what's the move here? What's the move here? Where's his king? Okay, his king's there. What did he do? Oh, he just took the queen. There's no way that I, Nikoji, could win normally. Or, sorry, lose normally. Wait, they lost on time? Why'd they lose on time? At least make a move. What the fuck? Make a move! I smell bullcrap. There's no way I and Koji would lose on time. Who the fuck? I knew it. There's no fucking way he would lose on time. You fucking assholes. G to F3. Yeah. They just wanted to strip away that protection point. Fucking assholes! You took away everything that she wanted. Are you even looking at me? I can't tell. Oh my gosh, that's how they end the episode? Are you kidding me? No, there's something after this. I know it. Not gonna miss it this time. Yeah, what the hell? Why not? Of course she did. She's been there since the very beginning. Yeah, why do you? Yeah, but there's no way that you can be satisfied with this knowing that they tampered with his results. Still, zero smile whatsoever. All right, so that was Classroom of the Elite Season 3, Episode 10. All right, so that was Classroom of the Elite Season 3, Episode 11. Another great episode. I was trying to keep up with all the moves that was going on in that chess match because we all knew by the intro, by the OP, that they were eventually going to have that battle. Basically, how I expected it to go down, Aina Koji kept up pace for pace with Saki and Nagi and literally could not be beat, had to be tampered with by Hashimoto and all those crazy people. Well, no, is it Hashimoto? I can't remember the name of the chairman. The guy that is 
messing with everything now, but literally had to tamper with his results to be able to beat him. I really want to know what his final move was. It didn't make a lot of sense because when you take that queen on that square, you're just opening up an attack from the rook on the right side. And then for him to just give up based upon time, you knew that there was something wrong there. There's no way Ainakoji in that scenario would just lose because he wants to lose. There's other moves you could have made to prolong the game a little bit longer, but I had a really good time with it. I also want to know how the battle with Ryuin and Ichinose went. Hope you guys are excited to see that in episode 12. And I don't know if there's going to be episode 13, but there's going to be one of the two. I'm super excited for that. Before we head out of here, make sure that you leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below as to what's your favorite moment from season three of Classroom of the Elite. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications by smacking that bell. And also don't forget to check me out at my Patreon if you want the full Uncut Leaked reaction to this or anime exclusives like Chain Soldier, Mashal Season 2. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. It's a good time, head on over there. Also check me out at my Twitch at twitch.tv slash movies in depth if you wanna see me react to anime live or play games, it's a good time, head on over there. Besides all that, I will Classroom of the Elite Season 3, you all in another one.